Hello! In today's video, I'm going to show you my top three outdoor thrift trash to treasures. Here we go! In this video, I'm going to show you three of my favorite outdoor trash to treasures that I completed on my channel last year. In this first one, I'm going to take these two popcorn tins that I got for free at a yard sale and turn them into planters. As always, I'm using my Rust-Oleum 2X paint and primer in one in flat white. So I go ahead and apply two coats of this spray paint. And when I spray paint things, I usually prop them up on flower pots, old flower pots, so that allows me to get at the bottoms of them a little bit better. In order to make it look like these tins had old flower market labels, I decided to use a technique I saw on Do It On A Dime, and I will link that down below. Here is the graphic that I created using MS Word. I used different text boxes and reversed the text in each text box. If you want a detailed description of how I did this, you can see the full video on my channel, which I will link above. But basically, I made this graphic and then I printed it out on my laser printer. So then you print them out. You have to make sure they're printed on a laser printer or this process will not work. I have a laser printer, but if you don't have one, you can go to Staples and they'll print out for you. And you get Minwax Polycrylic. You can get it in flat, you can get it in satin. I think mine is satin because that's what I found at a yard sale for $2. But you go ahead and you brush, brush on a generous coat of that. And then you just put your image on top of that and you smooth it out and try to get all the air bubbles out. You use a credit card or you know some other flat item to smooth the bubbles out. And then you wanna let that dry overnight. And once it's been 24 hours, you get a little bit, a cup of water and put a little on your finger and you just start rubbing off the paper. I also used a rag sometimes just to wipe it all off. But basically you rub the paper off and it leaves the print behind. Now with this method, you're not gonna get a perfect transfer, but it's a really great transfer and it looks a little rustic, which is what I was going for. I then finished the popcorn tins with two coats of Rust-Oleum clear coat. And when it was all done, I potted them up to put on my porch. I loved the way that they turned out. The magazine holder next to it is another one that I added the same graphic to, and I love the little set. And as an update, it's a year later now, and the graphics on these popcorn planters have held up against the Minnesota weather just fine. They look great this year, and I'm about to repot them with new flowers for this season. Let's move on to the next thrift trash to treasure, a patriotic mailbox planter for my porch. This project, I'm taking this post box that I found at Goodwill and turning it into a planter. The first thing I do is spray the letters where it says post and that little trumpet with this darker metallic color you could really use any dark color the purpose of this is so that I can sand off the white paint later and have it show through to paint the post box white I used rust-oleum 2x spray paint in flat white and I used about two coats here I have my sanding block and I'm just gently sanding off on the letters they are raised so it's easier to sand the paint off of them without damaging the paint of the post box itself. Now I'm going to plant it. The good thing about this project is that it already has holes in it for drainage so I don't have to worry about that. Okay so I've got it filled. I left some space because obviously I'm putting plants in it. So Got it filled up. Now you'll see this kind of closes on me. So I have this flag um, from last year. So I'm gonna actually use this in here like this, and that's gonna help to hold up the lid. And it's in there, it's in there pretty good. And I don't think that's gonna come down on my plants, especially if I do that. And it'll go with my patriotic decor that I have going on on my front porch. is my little planted post box. It's gonna look great on my front porch. And here's what it looks like all set up on my front porch. I love to do my porch in red, white, and blue, and this was a great added touch. The next project I'm going to show you is my wash tub garden. This is the wash tub I'm going to upcycle into a wash tub garden. I have previously planted in this wash tub. I've done veggies in here before. 
I've done some flowers, but this project is going to be the cutest way I've ever used it. If you don't have an actual wash tub, you can use a large bucket, you can use a large flower pot, you could use an old sink. So first I go ahead and clear it out and loosen up the dirt. And here is the faucet that I got at a yard sale for $2. This is part of an old necklace that I also got at a yard sale and part of a free Christmas ornament is that giant teardrop that I also picked up at a yard sale. I attached those using needle nose pliers and glued everything into my faucet using E6000. Now you can put your faucet into your dirt in a myriad of ways. I decided to take the easy way out. I just used dowels that I got from Michaels and I stuck ones that fit really snugly up into the faucet. And then I use that to just stick the faucet down into the dirt. You could put it on a block of wood. Um, I wanted my faucet up high because I wanted the bead to be able to dangle over the plants because the plants are going to grow and get taller. And so I wanted to make sure the bead didn't get hidden, but you could put it lower. You could cut those dowels. You could put it on a block of wood. You could stick it directly into the dirt if you wanted to, if you don't mind it being low. And then I get my plates, which I also thrifted. This was that stack of three white plates. I actually spray painted two of them yellow because I wanted some brighter colors in my little garden. And then I got these cheap little china plates just for little pretty accents. And I put those in my wash tub. And you can see this is sweet alyssum. It's the only flower you need for this project. And you just plant it throughout the plates because the idea here is that the sweet alyssum will grow with lots of tiny white flowers, which will flower all summer and look like the soap bubbles. Sweet alyssum is sold in four packs, usually at your nursery, sometimes at Walmart, and it likes sun. So you're gonna wanna put this in a sunny spot in your garden and it smells just wonderful. And I just keep filling in the wash tub with more dishes and more sweet alyssum until I am satisfied with how it looks. And here's what the finished wash tub garden looked like. And as the summer progressed, the sweet alyssum filled in and looked like a giant tub of bubbles. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing these top three thrifted trash to treasures. Look in the coming weeks for more videos like this. If you enjoyed this video, you might wanna check out this video here where I make a grow sign, which I'm going to actually prep for the outdoors and use it in my garden this year. Thanks again for watching. Take care.